All right, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Tawalipop and this is my 2020 Trek Marlin 5, which I recently purchased about a month ago for around $600, including tax. And I thought I'd give a bit of an overview on it since I've had it for a month and I've been riding around uh, some of the roads around here, as well as some light trails and intermediate trails. And I purchased it basically as my first mountain bike that I've ever ha owned ever. And it is an entry level mountain bike. You know, it's surprising how expensive mountain bikes can get these days with good ones easily reaching the $4,000, $5,000 price mark. And I, you know, I definitely did want one of those bikes, but I just wasn't ready to drop that much money on a bike that I wasn't, you know, too sure if how much I was going to be riding around here and things like that. So I currently own two fixed gear road bikes and a gravel bike. None of them have any sort of suspension whatsoever. And basically what happened was I was riding my fixed geared road bike around uh, my town where I live in Folsom, California. And while I was biking one day, I found this random trail around Folsom Lake College, which is a college that's nearby in the same town. And I thought I'd ride it on my fixed geared road bike. And it was one of the funnest things I've ever done this summer. And so I thought I'd invest in an actual mountain bike and have some actual fun riding it since when I brought that fixed gear bike home the same day, the, the rear tire was flat because Thorn was in it. And you know, what did I expect from that? So this, this bike is definitely so far over the month that I've had it has handled a lot better than that. It's pretty rugged, pretty tough. Um, I definitely abuse it every now and then just having a lot of fun on these trails. So I thought I'd give my thoughts on this bike and basically help you decide whether or not this bike is right for you and if you can take this bike on some of the trails that you, you know, might have around you. And so I'll probably be taking this thing out on several trails here and there in Folsom, perhaps in other places as well. And I'll just give you my thoughts after each video or during each video while I'm riding the bike. I definitely love it so far. You know, knowing nothing about mountain bikes, when I first purchased this one, the main reason I actually purchased it was mainly because of the looks. I think it just looks amazing and really aggressive. Um, it definitely has a lot of great features too for an entry-level hardtail uh, mountain bike, such as hydraulic disc brakes, really wide handlebars, which are really nice to uh, getting some good control on the bike and all. And of course you can like, look up the bike online and look up the specs and you know how it looks like but i'm here to tell you about how this bike will actually ride on a trail this is also a heavier bike than the road bikes i have for sure i think it weighs around 32 pounds um, as a fair warning or disclaimer i am very new to mountain biking so please bear with me if i don't bike that well but i figured that would be like a great type of review for this bike because I feel like a lot of people who are purchasing this bike are probably not going to be, you know, full on mountain bike racers or anything like that because it is an entry level mountain bike after all. But overall, I'm pretty in love with the bike. It looks amazing. It rides pretty well. Um, I unfortunately don't have much to compare it to since this is my first mountain bike. But if you are an entry level rider, you're looking to get into the sport, you're looking to just hit some of the trails around your town or something like that, I'm sure this will be perfect for that. Um, because you probably won't, you know, be as experienced to ride a trail that requires you to have a full suspension bike or something like that. And basically I'm going to be riding it on this trail that's located behind Folsom Lake College. If you happen to live in the area, I'll throw up a map of it so you can see, uh, what the route I'm going to be taking is or something like that. Um, it is a looping trail and I figured it might be a nice way to give this bike a little bit of a test run since most entry level hardtails are pretty much as far as I've heard from bike shops and other people selling this bike, it's pretty much like a commuter bike, but, um, you know, more, more intended for like road and like sometimes you'll hit some gravel or whatever, but I'm going to be taking this bike to its full limit, its full potential in the next few videos. And I'll try to see where it does reach its limits and where this bike might not excel as well as some of the other bikes that are, you know, over a thousand dollars in price or something like that but here we go let's get down to the trail
<laughs> There's a lot of those quails running around. Hopefully I don't run into any of them. That would be really bad. But they also do run pretty fast, so. Ooh, some slight jumps here and there. I came on this trail closer to sundown because it was about 100 degrees outside today. <laughs> Which might be why I'm a little bit more tired than usual. And I'm also pretty out of shape. <laughs> this trail is nothing too special or difficult. Uh, I'd assume it's pretty well suited for a bike like this. But I figured to start out this channel, I would go on a less intense trail, kind of build my way up and see how this bike handles and basically slowly increase the difficulty of trails until we reach a trail that this bike is not going to do so well on or just completely fails or something like that. And I don't really expect that to happen, but you know, we'll see. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh. This trail is pretty flat, not any, not too many big jumps or anything like that. Lots of those quails running around though. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this bike just feels like a beast when you're riding it on a trail. And that might just be like a bit biased because I do love the look of this thing. And especially in this black color, just looks so aggressive and menacing. Feels like you're just tearing up this trail. And, you know, I'm sure uh, there's a lot of better bikes out there, of course, when they reach those large price points. But this is still a great bike. Oh, where are we going? Okay. Ooh. Almost ran into that pole there. This bike does have a 3x9 gearing system. It's a lot of gears. If you're focusing on only mountain biking, I've heard that several like 2x or 1x systems where there's only one gear in the front instead of three are often preferred. I think they're just less complicated. You don't need that many gears when you're riding around on trails. But honestly, I haven't had any problems with this drivetrain yet. The chain has fallen off every now and then. If I go over something really, really bumpy. But yeah, these gears do come in handy when you're riding on the road and want to ride a bit faster. It's definitely really, really fun. I love the sport a lot. This bike makes me love it a lot more than riding my road bike on here for sure. <laughs> One thing I have noticed about this bike uh, compared with my other bikes is that these disc brakes, these hydraulic disc brakes are just amazing. They stop you so fast. There's been a lot of times where I've reached a close call and I just pull that lever really fast and it stops you. It really does. And I think that's a good part of this bike that Trek focused on, making sure that these brakes are good. You know, hydraulic disc brakes are gonna be better than mechanical or rim brakes in terms of stopping power for sure. And now we're back at the beginning, but we can take this little detour route that we haven't seen yet. But you know, if you are looking into buying this bike, I would highly recommend it. It's a beautiful looking bike, aggressive, mean, got all the looks part down for sure. And it does handle well, it's a great bike. It might be more expensive than, you know, your Walmart bikes, but you are getting what you pay for, for sure. This is a pretty short trail, but it is pretty fun if it's close by to you. Um, and you got nothing else, this is definitely, this will definitely do the job for a bit, having a bit of fun. Oh, nice. Long bridge. I probably also should have mentioned that this is my first time ever recording a video like this, so if it's bad, I really apologize for that. I'll try to make it better in the future. Please leave a comment or anything if you want to, if you have any suggestions for me, but... Yeah, here's the bike in all of its glory. I love the handlebars, I love the grips. The grips are comfort grips, so they're definitely, you know, at first I was a bit worried about that because I always see like upper end mountain bikes having just the circular cylindrical 
grips and I was like, ah, this doesn't look as cool, but they're not that bad. They do provide extra support for your palm and everything. You know, the main thing, the main reason I wanted to make this video was because, well, first of all, just to show you some trails in Folsom, I'll probably go around all the trails I can find in this city. If you, so if you live nearby, um, you can definitely look at these videos and check out the trails before you hit them. You know, I, I had a lot of doubts before buying this bike because every single video I see online of people, you know, reviewing bikes and stuff like that, they're always like, oh, you spend more money, you get a better bike. Don't, don't waste your money on the entry level ones. Just take it a step further and you'll get a lot better bike that's much more prepared for the trail and things like that. But while I'm not discrediting those people in any way, I'm sure that's true to an extent. Um, I just want to put any doubts that you have in your mind aside because this bike is a great bike. I've ridden it on several trails. I am an entry-level mountain biker, but like I said before, I've biked my whole life. I've, I've, I have several road bikes and gravel bikes, and this is my first mountain bike, but I definitely have ridden on trails before, done jumps, curb jumps, and things like that on those bikes. And even those bikes handle fine, just their tires popped uh, when you're taking it on hardcore off off-roading. But... This bike is definitely going to be better than any road bike or any hybrid bike that you'll buy. And that's, you know, that's the main thing that you want to consider. And this will be better than any of those Walmart bikes or wholesale bikes. Not to diss on Walmart or anything like that. I'm just saying the reason why they're able to make those bikes so cheap is because they use, you know, lower quality components. And, you know, more recently, those those components have been getting better in price and all that. But focusing on the 2020 Trek Marlin 5, it is a great bike. I love it. Love the look of it. Love the feel of it. I'm definitely going to be pushing it to its limits in uh, Folsom on these trails that are pretty hardcore. I'm um, going to start with the lighter ones, move into intermediate and difficult, since I also have to build up my own skill levels and things like that. But with that, this is going to be my first video, and I hope all of you guys enjoyed it. And please like the video if you did like it. You know, helps me out to figure out what type of content to make for you guys. And basically, like, if you have any questions, things like that, things you want me to make a video on, I'll definitely go and make it. Not doing much right now with all the quarantine stuff going on. And uh, with that said, you know, I hope everyone's staying safe out there, staying healthy, and, you know, keep biking. And this bike can be ridden without touching the handlebars, which is a great thing. <laughs>